why are these minerals included if you get them in a diet? Like what's missing? I said you can get them oh, from you your can. diet. Oh, right. okay. So the, the problem with our modern food uh, climate is that most of the soil that is farmed has been farmed inappropriately for decades, in some cases over a century of using uh, chemical fertilizer, of pushing the soil too hard, of not giving the soil a chance to recover. And in many cases, the soil is now depleted of these minerals, or it's been so improperly farmed for so long that even though the minerals are still in the soil, they're locked up hmm. and you can't get access to them. And so uh, what that means is, if you're gonna eat some broccoli, and you look up on the USDA yeah. Food Data Central. Yeah. So those numbers on the USDA website, doesn't, that doesn't apply to your broccoli. That applies to the t broccoli that was tested back in the 1950s or 60s. Okay. okay. So you don't really know what was in your broccoli. It literally depends on the soil that the broccoli was grown in. If that soil had a good source of iodine, then there will be iodine in the broccoli. If there was no iodine in the soil, then there will be none in the broccoli even though the USDA website says that there is a little bit. And this applies for meat and eggs as well. Hmm. The, the, the soil that grew the grass that the cow grazed, that grass can only, by definition, have the minerals that are in the soil that is available to that grass. And for the, for the eggs from the duck or the chicken or the quail, if, those, if that fowl did not have access to bugs and worms and grass and seeds that had those minerals in them, then it will not be in the egg and it will not be in the meat of that animal. And so and I would love for there to come a day, you probably won't like this, no, okay. I would love for there to come a day where nobody needs to take daily minerals. I think that would actually be fantastic. That would be a win for yep. everybody, right? right? But until we have really implemented regenerative ranching and regenerative farming, and agriculture back to the way we should be farming and ranching the land. Many, many people are deficient or depleted in these minerals. And by replacing them, either with food, if you know that the minerals in there, or with daily minerals, because you know the minerals are in there, you're gonna be able to realize a level of, of health optimization that otherwise might've been out of reach.